Hey guys, Andrew here, and I'm here for something, yes, Minecraft related, it's a really cool game, but I'm here for something awesome, and that this is my first mod showcase. Now, I'm doing, I'm starting it off with, like, an awesome mod, I've, like, heard of this mod, I got the Too Many Items mod, and I kind of decked myself at an armor, all level X, so, even a sword and a bow, so, I'm pretty much unbeatable. In hard mode, a creeper explosion full on would do half a heart, but, anyway, moving on, I'm doing the bacteria mod. Now, um, you're gonna need sponge, um, a little for this mod, and sponge can either spawn randomly in in a river or a lake over there, but I don't see any, anyway, and, uh, gosh, voice crack, I think, I think, anyway, um, you can, or you could actually craft sponge with a bucket of water, a five wool, and dandelions, you know, make sponge, and what you need to make with that sponge is moss. I think that's kind of moss. I have no idea, to be honest. But what you need is two bread, a sponge, and a water bucket. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. That was the whole mod. And moving on to the next thing you do with must. Ugh. Anyway, what you need is a is it a platform of water that is if you like at least two blocks high and at least one block around it so like that and after a certain amount of time um it'll start to turn like green and when you punch it that's when you get bunch of bacteria i watched the showcase of ss s sunday on this mod and i agree it looks like bloody vomit and moving on you need to put in a pattern of this bloody vomit in with a like this in a redstone torch to make a bacterium colony and now I'll show you what this does in a little and you also need four with a piece of coal in the middle to make a bacterium replacer colony now I'll show you what that does later too. And now to the last two recipes. Um, basically, you need two bacterium colonies in a pattern like this, ironing it in the middle, and a redstone torch at the middle bottom. That makes a bacterium jammer. And for the bacterium jammer block, you need four cobblestone. Like this, three bacterium colonies, an iron ingot, and a redstone torch. And you get one of these. Um, also, I won't have to fight, I just like wearing this armor for showing off. Bragging rights. Boots of derp. Pantaloons of derp. Anyway. Um, so, basically, <laughs> what these guys do, and... I'll use this in a little, as well as this. This bacterium colony will destroy every th single block. Now, I'm only going to leave it open for a little because my frames are normally short and this lags the heck out of my game. So basically what you need is redstone torch. And, basically, um, basically, what else? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, whatever you want to be destroyed, like, okay, let's get some dirt. And, this is very good for strip mining, actually. So, what you do, um, I'm not, I'm only gonna do dirt, actually. You put dirt and a stone on top. And basically, you put the redstone torch right next to this, and watch the magic. 
it will consume everything. Now I'm gonna stop it now, or else I'm gonna lag like crazy. It already took like like three TNT explosions in just three seconds. That's how powerful it is. Um, actually, let me show you a bit of a bigger effect. Let's um. Oh yeah, and this bacterium jammer, you can right click it and basically yeah. See, see that that was already 125 bacteria, and basically this actually can't get all of the like back like bacteria. Um, so that's where the block comes in, so just place it on the bacteria and it stops completely. Look, the world isn't even rendering for me. That's how bad it is. And good at the same time, so. Let's, uh, let's put this guy down. Oh. Um, get some dirt again. I'll just, sh I'll show you what this guy can do. Um. Some stone. Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, and then place a um stone on top. Then watch the magic. I actually have to get away a little, cause remember, if you're in survival doing this stuff, might you might want to try and get your torch back. <laughs> so. Look at this. Look at how much is being destroyed. This is amazing for strip mining because it doesn't get the ores. So, ba so look. Uh, it's starting to lag out my game. I'm sorry, guys. If you want to get the mod, um, I'll link the description. Look, the, like the ores remain unharmed. But if you like want to get like coal. And that stuff, you could basically get silk touch pickaxe, mine coal up, get that, put it on top of the stone, and put that torch down, and basically, yeah, 2,753 bacteria. Can you believe that, guys? Now, in my opinion, this next one is way better, because... If you manage to get only nine diamonds, make a diamond block. Here's what happens. Replace it. Yeah. Basically, you put this down over the block you, block you want to replace. Put the block on what you want to replace it with. Put this here. Destroy this. And let's watch the magic yes it will duplicate all those diamond blocks then you just stop it and you'll have diamonds forever you can show it off to your friends have an awesome time and yes this will go down a few blocks because it'll get every single piece of dirt and it's just like they just do that yeah but look at this you will have diamonds for like the rest of your life like in the rest of your minecraft life get an iron block do this you'll have iron for days wood you'll have iron uh, wood for days for pete's sake this mod is just so like beneficial and destructive at the same time in fact if you want to like make a like wait um, I'm in creative and iron bars and like say you made a wall out an entire like base like and a wall covering it with iron like with cobble Let me just destroy this right here um like this came up in the SS Sunday like Mod showcase too, like okay, so let's say put up three blocks. 
Alright. Just check out the videos going. Ten minutes. We got like like four minutes left. Oh. Uh save this in your wall, like in a like a battlefield. In your like in a base with like fighting another team or something. Save this as your wall. Let's just make this a little bigger. You place this on top. Put this here. You no, this is good for a prison actually. So look at that. The entire wall will turn into Iron fences, good for a prison like th map. If you want to create a prison map for some reason, this mod is just amazing in so many ways. So, guys, that is all. You can even like create a super flat world, um, made out of sand, and make and make like a little running, um, survival thing where you're running from the sand falling into the void with the um, destructive bacteria that was purple and I thought was still in my inventory for some reason but yeah guys that is all showing off my armor and basically have a good day um I hope you guys do good in life or something <laughs> I don't know um and yeah guys bye see you in the next episode and I just hope all of you guys, or at least some of you guys, enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, leave a like. And, well, I guess that's all. Bye.